two WEC Warriors looking to make a name for themselves and take the next step in the already competitive lightweight division. He uh, likes to get in, in brawls, you know, and I think if he does that with me, it's going to be a horrible choice. I don't think he's ever been hit by somebody who hits as hard as I do. I'm going to knock him out. I'm going to hit him twice as many times as he's going to hit me. I'm looking to take him out as fast as I can. I'm going to finish Zach Micklewright, you know, and stamp my name in the lightweight roster. He's not going to make a name by fighting me. All he's going to do is find his ticket out of the WEC. Making his way inside the cage for this lightweight bout, Dustin Poirier out of Lafayette, Louisiana, the 21-year-old with a record of seven and one. 21, another youngster just blooming here in his MMA career. Only eight fights under his belt, but his second fight in the WEC. Expect him to put on a show. Yeah. He feels really bad about last time. He had the jitters, plus he was fighting a wrestler who was kept trying to take him down, so he is determined to put on a show tonight. Had a chance to speak with Dustin after the weigh-ins. He is supremely confident that he can get the win here, and this is a great opportunity for him. As you said, coming off that loss to Danny Castillo, he needs this win in a big-time way. Did he talk about that fight with you at all? Didn't Castillo. really go into much of that on him, but uh, he said this is the one he's got to have. He's been training for this. As you said, he wasn't happy about that decision. Losing an advantage decision to Castillo, a, a very strong wrestler, but uh, all of his wins coming by way of KO submission, very heavy hands, and he has good submission defense. So even though you get him on the ground in a position, he, he knows how to get out of it. And if there's one thing fighters do is they learn from their mistakes. And he felt he didn't push it until his last fight, and he's determined to show us the new Dustin tonight. So Dustin Poirier is in the cage. We now await his opponent, Zach Mickelwright. Mickelwright, born in Davenport, Iowa, the 24-year-old, bringing a record of 9-2. and two. Coming off a loss to Bart Pawaszewski. Prior to that, got a decision over Mushin Corbre. Yeah, another guy who really wants to make up for his last performance is fighting a decent fight against Bart, then just got caught with a big punch. Ended up getting knocked out early in the second round, and uh, he knows. Tonight, he's got to put on a show. He's got to get this victory. And both guys kind of feel the same way, which, which should make for a great fight. We should, we should really get some fireworks here in this fight. His favorite technique, throwing bombs. <laughs> it's not a bad technique to have if you can pull it off. Yeah, so, it, you know, Dustin likes to stand in there and slug it out. I, I have a feeling that uh, this should be a good one, Todd. Very aggressive fighters, Micklewright. Power in both hands, and he loves to stand and bang. And I think Dustin Poirier would love to say, hey, you want to keep this on its feet? I'm happy to oblige with the young man. Yeah, they both probably, uh, before they walked out, said, hey, let's Let's try to beat that Cub Swanson back in some of their fight. <laughs> this does have the potential for fight of the night. Both fighters extremely aggressive. Both fighters coming off of losses. So that makes them both very dangerous. So we're set to go. Both fighters inside the cage in the lightweight division as we check out the tail of the tape. Zach Micklewright, 24 years of age, six feet tall, 156, his reach is 74 inches. Dustin Poirier, 21 years of age, 5'9", 155, and a 73 inch reach. We go inside the cage. Joe Martinez has our official introductions. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen, this next attraction scheduled for three rounds in the lightweight division. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner. He's a mixed martial artist with a professional record consisting of seven victories and just one defeat. Standing five feet, nine inches tall, he weighed it officially 155 pounds. Fighting out of Lafayette, Louisiana, here he is, Dustin the Diamond Poirier. And next is opponent across the cage, fighting out of the red corner. He's a freestyle fighter with a professional record, nine victories and two defeats. Standing six feet even, he weighed it officially 156 pounds. Fighting out of Davenport, Iowa, here is Zach McElroy. Referee in charge of the action, Kim Winslow. Come on, Zach. Okay, gentlemen, I expect a good, clean, fair fight. Obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. If you'd like to touch gloves, do so now. 
go back to your corners. So we're set to go in the lightweight division. Zach Micklewright taking on the diamond. Dustin Poirier, this one's scheduled for three rounds here in Las Vegas. You ready? Are you ready? Fight! Wow, right off the bat, Poirier showing no respect for Micklewright coming forward, launching some Oh, that's a good counter leather. right, and Micklewright's already hurt. Micklewright is in trouble, and Poirier Jeez. is set to pounce. Dustin wasn't lying. Oh, Lennon, big shots. Micklewright's in big trouble. He's still trying to fire back, though. I give him credit, but he is eating some leather. Oh, good counter uppercut there by Micklewright. It looks Trying like to get back on sturdy ground. Zach Mickle right there stunned momentarily as Poirier came out from the first bell and just started pounding. Oh, he lands that right oh, again, again and again. Just over and over, devastating it thudding will, punches. Stefan, it'll be a miracle if Mickle right can survive this He's first round. He's not going to make it out of here. He is hurt. He is hurt. That's it. And that's that all. is it. Wow, Dustin wasn't lying. He said he was going to come out aggressive, and i never seen anything like him. My goodness. And Zach Mickelright is still struggling to gain his footing. Let's go back. This is the opening bell. He came out like Mickelright stole something from him just from the opening bell, just slugging now, letting his hands go. Mickelright did get his wits back briefly, yep, land some good counter punches, but that only slowed uh, Dustin down for a second. Then Dustin jumps all back over him. And the story was that right combo. hand. He's fighting from a southpaw stance with that right hook. He just keeps landing it over and over in the same spot. And then, uh, good job. I mean, Mikorai was pretty much out on his feet Oof. here, just taking punishment again. Like that right hand right on the button. Look how he's just framing up the head of over Zach Mikorai, just look, setting him up, teeing how, off. Look how his legs are bent. He's putting uh, that power through the floor, through his legs, into his hands, just clean shots uh, over and over, letting his hands go. Wow. And Impressive referee Kim victory. Winslow steps in and puts an end to it. As we set it inside, Joe Martinez has the official word. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes 53 seconds. Round number one, stoppage due to strikes for your winner by TKO victory, Dustin the Diamond. So Poirier gets the victory in under a minute. We sent it back inside the cage. Craig Hummer. Dustin, you said before the fight you were going to beat him at, your own, at his own game. Excuse me, but how much respect do you have for him that he was able to withstand that barrage as long as he did? Man, I have a huge respect for him. I had, I had a huge amount of respect for him before I even got in his cage with him tonight, you know? He's a, he's a hell of a fighter. He's a military veteran. He's got a tough chin. He can stand up. Just proud to be in here. Y'all guys putting me against great opponents like this. I appreciate it. Your last fight went to the judges. How bound and determined were you not to make it go that time? Man, after this last fight, I left out of here. I didn't leave it all in here. First time in my life I've ever done that. I went back to the drawing board. I said, well, what got me here? And that's fighting. That's what I did tonight. You also said coming into this fight that you wanted to make a statement fight. I think you did that tonight, didn't you? I think so. What do you think? All right. Congratulations. Your winner, Dustin Poirier. Yeah!